Tarsis. Tarsis, I just want to show you something briefly. Um, this might help. I don't know if, if, if it's going to, to change the way you want to do things, but let's say you're, you're working in Qfield, or, or not you necessarily, but the people are working in the field, and then they've gone ahead and they've captured some information. Uh, maybe let me just randomly capture some information. So we will just do this. And then that, and let's say it's a water quality test. So they want to capture new test. Okay, so they capture some information, whatever, take a photograph. I don't even know, should I take a photograph? They take a photograph. Okay. And then uh, they're happy with that photograph. Okay, so they're happy with that. They've captured their record. And then they either come in to you, right? And then you download and then upload them onto, onto um, SharePoint, which is fine. No, no problem with that. They can keep uploading to SharePoint. But let's say we go out of the project now. Okay, so instead of connecting to your device and um, uploading by USB cable. I don't know if you've even tried this or if you have been doing it, but there is an option to uh, compress and email the folder from the actual application. So let's go back in and then go to my importer project. So now it's the modules one to six. So on the right hand side, if you click on those little buttons, there's an option there to send compressed folder to. Okay, so we select that. And then if they have... Um, email on their phones, they can select their email application and then they can send it to you or themselves or whoever they want to send it to and it the project becomes an attachment so it actually compresses and automatically attaches it to an email and then they might just need to say who it's from you know water quality uh, in 25092024 so something to note i'm not sure if that is going to be something you'd be interested in 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 doing if it's going to improve the workflow where you don't necessarily have to get the phones you can just get them as long as they have data to email what they've captured to you um obviously the problem is uh, we're compressing images that are quite big so the I guess the issue there is how many photographs have they taken so it's something to note it's possibility that it might work but then again with the amount of images and photographs people are taking in the field that's the only thing I can think of that might be might be an issue okay yeah so just thought I'd show you that option as a way of sharing um, captured data from the, those QField projects. Okay, uh, use it, don't use it, it's completely up to you. Okay, cheers, Tussies, bye.